Google Apps scripts are easy to set up in Kissflow. Let's look at an example where you want to pull data from a PO request and put it in a Google Sheet. The first thing to do is to go to your Google Drive account. Click on New, then More, then Google Apps Script. If you don't see this option, click Connect More Apps. Search for Google Apps Script and then connect it. Now you're in the script editor. Give your project a name. I'll call this one PO Items to Spreadsheet. Copy the script from the article below. This top section pulls the data from a Kissflow item. You don't need to edit any of the information in this section. Starting at line 24, this is the function that will take data from your parent form and place it in the spreadsheet. In line 26, enter the URL of the Google Sheet where you want the information to go. You can also enter the name of the sheet here. In these lines, you need to enter the field ID of the field that you want to pull the data from. You can find this inside the app builder. For example, I want to get the PO number. This is an auto-generated sequence number. The field ID is PO underscore number. I'll enter that into the script. The next section shows you how to pull information from a table. Similarly, you're going to first put the URL of the Google Sheet and specify the sheet name. Then you need to enter the name of the table. Check your app builder to make sure you have the name right. Use the underscore sign for any spaces. Below that, there is a place to enter all the field IDs you want to display. You can enter field IDs from the parent form, such as the PO number again, or you can get data from inside the table. Just copy the field IDs and enter them here. Finally, you need to create a Google Doc that will capture all of your logs. Simply create a new Google Doc, give it a title, and grab the URL. Paste the URL here at the bottom of the script. Now you need to publish your script. Go to the menu, and under Publish, click Deploy as a Web App. When the settings display, change the one that says, Who has access to this app? Change it to Anyone, even Anonymous. This will make sure that the script will fire no matter who uses the app in your Kissflow account. Allow the script permission to access your documents and spreadsheets when it asks. Then it will give you a URL to copy. Back in Kissflow, open the app you want and go to the workflow. Click on the plus button and then click add action. Select send data to a webhook and then enter the URL that you copied. Click Send Test Data to make sure that everything is working. You can see in your logs and in your spreadsheet that the sample data went through. Now let's test it. Here's a new form that I'm about to submit. You can see that the data is automatically pushed to my spreadsheet. The first sheet grabs the PO number, and the second sheet is set to grab the table data. That's how to set up a Google Apps script for Kissflow.